The effects library in Perfect Black and White occupies the left pane of the user interface. Starting at the top, you'll see three tabs, Effects, Favorites, and My Presets. Under Effects, you'll see a variety of categories. By clicking on any category, you'll expand it to see the effects underneath. You can click the category again to close it, and then click on another one to see what's under those. To apply an effect, just click on it, and the settings will automatically apply to your image. If there's another effect that appeals to you, just click on that one, and those settings will be applied. Above the categories is a search box. If you click in the search box, you can start typing for an effect. So let's say I want to look for an ambro type. I start typing it, and there are two effects, ambrose and ambro type. All I need to do is click on that effect to apply it. To clear out search results, just click on the X to the right of the search box. Next, we'll talk about favorites. If there's a particular effect or preset that you use a lot, you can mark it as a favorite, and it'll appear under the Favorites tab. So if I'm in the Effects tab, and I like to use dark and gritty a lot, I'll click on the flag that appears on the lower right of the thumbnail. Now that it's solid, it's marked as a favorite. And if I go to the Favorites tab and scroll down, there's dark and gritty. To remove a favorite, just click on the flag again, and it'll go away. Presets are your own saved preferences. So let's say I start with this amber type effect, and I want to increase the contrast of the image, and also increase the detail. I can save this new effect as my own preset by going to the preset menu item, selecting save preset, and then entering a name and a category. So I'm going to call this Brian's Ambro. I'm going to create a new category called Brian's Presets. And if I want, I could put a creator name and a description. When I'm done, I'll click Create. And now, if I go to the My Presets tab, there's the Brian's Presets category, and then there's Brian's Ambro. And just like the effects, I can mark this as a favorite. So when I go to the Favorites tab and scroll down, there's Brian's Ambro for me to use quickly and easily.